Hi everyone, Phil from Tech for Techs. Today we're going to be looking at this from a CASA. It's a Tim Wipe kit, which is basically designed to clean your CPU or GPU or chipset, uh, remove all the paste off there so it's nice and clean so you can apply some more CPU paste, which it does come with in the kit. And that way you can get firm, better thermals between obviously the CPU and the cooler. Ideal if you're replacing your cooler or let's just say you've had the CPU running for a long time and the paste is dried up on it and you need to apply more paste or should I say replace the current paste uh, because your thermals are getting a little bit too high in your device. Uh, we do have links in the description for this so if you click the links it'll take you to the best price in your country on Amazon. Okay, so let's go through what we've actually got here. So let's have a look at the packet first. So as you can see there, it says a CASA Tim Wipe kit. You can see it's got five packets. That's going to be the wipes. You've got your CPU paste as well as a spreader. Some people use spreaders, some don't, but we'll run through that in a few minutes. It's got a QR code as well. Uh, it's got a few warning messages on there, which obviously if you want to read into, uh, feel free. On the back of the pack, it tells you basically it's got... Uh, uh, scrape most of the tim off with um, a stiff piece of plastic first, then clean it with one of the uh, tim pads, then leave for one to two minutes, then apply a small amount of AK455, that's their thermal paste, onto the CPU, and then spread it out with a spreader. Obviously, optional if you use the spreader or not. A lot of people like to put a P amount of paste in the center of CPU, and then when you put the cooler on top, it spreads it out automatically. Some people like to spread it out evenly. That's totally up to you which option you're gonna do. I'm not gonna argue which is the best way in this video, uh, but it gives you a rough idea. So it does refer to the CPU socket as the chipset. I know a lot of people get confused with that. The chipset is normally known as a North Bridge and South Bridge, but some places do class the CPU socket as part of the chipset as well, because obviously it's got a chip on it. And that also can include the GPU as well. So it's not technically wrong, but it's not the word in most people tend to use. Um, it says it's designed for all types of CPUs, GPUs and chipsets, suitable for high wattage CPUs, firmly advanced for maximum cooler performance, spreader makes applying thermal compound easy, tin wipes leave no residue. So let's open it up and see what we have got. Okay, let's go over what you've got in the box. You've got everything you need. There's no instructions as such because it's pretty much written on the back of the box. Um, but first thing you've got, you've got this paste spreader. This is to uh, spread the thermal paste out uh, onto the actual CPU. So it's nice and even. It's branded a CASA. You've got the thermal paste itself, which is there, or thermal compound, depending on how you want to call it. It's the 455 thermal compound. Uh, there's roughly five grams of it in there. So again, it's one of those things is how much do you apply? But obviously if you've got five packets there, there's five grams in there, that should work out as roughly one gram per application if it evens up. Uh, most cases, when you're applying to CPU, some places you say you use around about a gram, so that would work out roughly around about right. And then you've got these five packets, just to, so you can see a bit clearer. So as you can see, it just says Tim, Tim Wipe, uh, CPU and heat sink cleaner basically. And then it gives you lots of small print on the back if you really want to read it, which is there. But otherwise that's it. The actual Tim Wipe, just to give you a rough idea what it looks like. In basics, it's going to look like a most cleaning wipes you get, like baby wipe type things, hand wipes and stuff like that, but it's obviously got their Tim Clip, Tim Clean um, liquid on it, which allows you to clean the CPUs. You can buy their Tim Clean liquid in big bottles if you're wanting, uh, if you're using it for obviously cleaning a lot of CPUs, let's say you do this on a regular basis. Um, it does smell very um, citrusy is probably the best way, probably uh, uh, I'd say a lemony, um, orangey smell to it, so uh, it's um, quite nice smelling, doesn't smell bad, uh, but it can be quite strong smell. So let's uh, clean the CPU and see how it goes. Okay, so this is the CPU we're going to be cleaning. You can see the CPU here. This is the bracket holder and holding it in. Computer memory is there. Obviously, we've already removed the cooler. The graphics card's there as well. You can just about see it on the edge of the screen. Um, so we're going to clean off this paste, just to give you an idea what this paste looks like. If you've got it on something, that's a nice clean cloth. Just a little wipe 
and it makes a bit of a mess as you can see there um, because a lot of paste is made up of silver and other bits of uh, compound and if you get it on your hands it can be a nightmare to get off it's a bit like a grease probably worse than grease because it doesn't come off with ease because it's designed to uh, last for a long time so the basics is they're saying scrape off any big chunks with uh, obviously a piece of plastic something like a credit card old credit card or store card would probably be ideal for that you basically get your wipe which obviously is here um, I'm going to use the one I got out of the packet a few seconds ago and then you just basically wipe it and it wipes it all off pretty much in one straight go obviously fold it over do another section and so forth because the paste can get around the edges this is our test CPU which has had lots of applications on uh, yeah, we do clean it each time but it does build up around the edges but as you can see that is pretty much as clean as you're going to get it without taking the CPU out of the socket itself which is if you're not sure what you're doing best not to do but as you can see that CPU is pretty much um, pretty clean now it does say you leave it a couple of minutes to dry off uh, obviously I've got not got the time for you to sit here for two minutes I'm just going to dry it off basically with a clean cloth just to give you an idea what it looks like the reason why they want you to wait a couple of minutes is they want you to dry it off because they don't want you to put the new thermal paste on while you've still got the uh, cleaning liquid on there because it'll break down the new thermal paste so you ideally need to give it a couple of minutes to break down what you do then is get your thermal paste obviously take the end off squeeze in the middle again this is a controversial thing is how you apply it and stuff but the basics is you put a ball in the center like a small p as you can see there it's probably as much as you need let me get that bit what's tailing off on there okay and then once you've done that again this is up to you if you do this or not other people will say just leave it on like that put the cooler on top it spreads it out automatically you do have this spreader where you can evenly spread it out how you want onto the cpu so you can have it even again you're probably going to ask me what i recommend and i think to be honest it depends on the cpu i like to spread it out evenly but the main reason is that because I'm doing usually tests and on all the tests I want it to be identical so I want it as evenly spread as possible um, that way there's no questions about how I applied the thermal paste um, how it's going to work when we do the testing so you make sure it's nice and smooth as you can see there you can't see any of the writing underneath it's nice and smooth um, you're not going to get it perfect but as long as it's pretty much covers and you're fine again you don't need to cover this metal around the edge or put it on the board or anything like that the thing is if you do get any on the board or let's just say you do you can probably see here i've got some on and i'm just going to put some more on there just to get you you just get your wipe obviously a clean part of the wipe would be handy so i'm just going to turn it inside out and you should be able to wipe the board and wipe most of it off the board to clean it up it shouldn't really affect the board too much but the thing is it's designed to transfer heat so you don't really want it transferring heat to places it shouldn't be but the basic is that's it now you can go and get your cpu cooler whatever cpu cooler it is you've got and place it on top obviously if your cpu cooler has already got pre-applied paste you don't need to put the paste on because it's already got it on there but obviously if you're cleaning it to replace the paste on there then obviously you will need to do that before you put your cpu cooler on because if you don't your cpu is going to get really hot because it doesn't transfer the heat properly between the cpu and the cooler